up guys, welcome back to the channel. We got a phone room for y'all today, currently in my car as you can see, because we're heading down to Harbortown Golf Links at Hilton Head Island to watch Wesley play in a PJ Tour event. Let's go. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. We're gonna take, I'm gonna take you along on the journey to see what Wesley, or see what it looks like for Wesley to play and compete in live action golf with something actually on the line other than just beating me. <laughs> but yeah, we're heading down to the RBC Heritage. It's gonna be a lot of fun. He's, he won here in 2017, so it's gonna be cool to see him navigate um, of course he's comfortable with he's playing pretty good so guys buckle up get ready not sure how this video is gonna look but it's gonna be a lot of fun to bring you kind of inside the ropes but not really um, guys enjoy let's go Alright guys, we've made it to Harbor Town. We're here. Now it's the awkward part doing a little intro in front of people watching and walking by, but we're here at Harbor Town. Let's get after it. Let's go. Huge fan. Yes! Huge fan. There we go. There's the people who are judging me. Let's go! Let's go. Oh, Wesley, nice shooting there, bud. Maybe the best caddy on tour. Thank you. And he's got Thank rabbit you ears. Are you kidding me? <laughs> the amount of people asking where you are at, George, cannot even count the number of people. I mean, where we am. A lot of people watching. Where's George at? Where's George? It's tough, tough, tough living in the uh, older brother spotlight, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you wow, what a beautiful day. How are you feeling? Feeling good. I've gotten about an hour of putting in. A little bit of chipping. The real warm up will start here in about 20, 25 minutes. So. Okay, perfect. We'll, we're, uh, uh, we're ready we'll to let him be and uh, see you on the first day. Next on the tee, from Columbia, South Carolina, he's also a past RBC champion. Please welcome Wesley Bryan. Yeah. Shot to hear. He's got to hit a massive hook. Have no clue how far. 110 yards. Not the easiest, but he's aiming at me. Having he hooked this thing. All right, guys. Going to be doing some voiceover work. Um, as you know, it's pretty hard to do this on the fly. But I should have got really something good. down, but didn't. Made bogey. And here we are, just pumps to drive here on the second hole. Really good swing. Kind of an RC camera angle, no big deal. <laughs> Bam. Go. We got the uh, Wedgie Brian fan club here. <laughs> Let's go. What's your name? Zim. Zim? That was a shot. Price. Price and? I'm Owen. Owen. Let's go. Snow. What's your prediction? I think Wesley's gonna go low. Gotta Ooh. get that bounce back birdie after the yes. bogey. Yes, my guy. 
You guys heard it here first. Owen, he says he's going low. Owen, at Let's go. What a shot. Run the green. Knocked it up. Good shot. I mean, guys, this is what you've seen from Wesley. He's in the trees, has to this big old hook. Now he's got that for Eagle, second hole, par five. All right, so my keys today to Wesley's round, he's gonna, if he drives it well with his driver, actually he's driving it, he's hitting his driver good, so that's a, that's a given. But if he hits his three wood and hybrid in the fairway, he's gonna play well because his irons are good, short irons. Uh, Wesley, your mid irons, eh, they need to get better, but he's putting good. So, keys, hits fairways with three wood hybrid and takes advantage of his wedges, he's gonna play well because, like I said, he's putting good and hitting his driver well. He's currently even. So he gets gusted, comes up a little short. Um, should have gotten this up and down, honestly. Hits a decent chip, but leaves himself a tricky putt. Uh, just misses it. Now we're heading to the fourth hole, par three. Let's go. Four holes in, Wesley's one over. Mm -hmm. Like, it looks better than it score for indicates. Sure. For sure. What are you thinking? It's just those easy up and downs that he's just automatic with, just not getting up and down. And that's why he's made the two bogeys. Um, he's taken advantage of the par five, which is great, which you have to do out here. And, um, but swing looks good, honestly. I agree. Um, the neon green Hulk shaft. Yeah, this three wood is new. He didn't have it in the bag until Monday. And the first drive on hole one, not great, but not terrible. And this one, he just absolutely sent. He's going to have hybrid and it's close. iron into a par five. Par five. So. so, guys, he's one over, yes, but stay calm. He's going to play well. People, that's what I'm talking about. He actually practiced his bump and runs in a practice session a few weeks ago. If uh, you remember from the practice session video, even though I didn't show it, he did practice his bump and runs, which is hilarious because he's chipped in for Eagle, which is huge. Gets him to one under on the day. Kind of settles the nerves a little bit, so it'll be curious to see how he kind of carries on and finishes the rest of this round out. Now, he might shoot eight over, he might shoot eight under, who knows, but I think moving forward for the rest of the tournament, that was a very, very big chip in. Let's go. Nice. <laughs> Typical Wesley round, just whatever, whatever, then chips in for Eagle. Um, I told the people, like, this could be big moving forward to Sunday. That, that little chipping right there to spark them on. Give us an analysis so far through five holes. It's Wesley Golf. <laughs> <laughs> it's Wesley Golf not hitting it all that great yet. But it looks like his wedge is uh, becoming the west. The wedge. He's be becoming Wedgley. Yep. He's turning into Wedgley. So uh, predictions: the next two. 
what hole is this on? Is it six? The, the six. Next, so six, seven, eight. And the next four holes, how, even, over, under, what are you thinking? Uh, he'll hold on about now and... Even, okay, so one even. under making the turn. Yeah. Lock it in. All right, good two putt for par. No harm, no foul. Walking to the seventh hole, par three. Uh, pretty, pretty difficult par three coming up. So the wind starts just picking up and gusting all over the place here. Turns this hole to a pretty standard par three to a hard one with this wind, as you can see by the uh, multiple club switches. <laughs> But guys, the real Wesley T shot was cool and all. Look at this shirt, absolute peach. Let's go. I mean, he gets it. The master vine behind it all. That's right. <laughs> That's fine, you still got plenty of real estate to work with from there. Yeah. Good shot. Good shot. Good shot. Dale's right as usual. All pars to close out the front nine. I'm not happy under. about it, but now he, now he's now ready. He's on. Now he's ready. Got All right, through 11 holes. Um, game is really good, actually way better than I thought it was. He's hitting it super solid. The putter though, Wesley, when you watch this, do us a favor, make some putts. No, I'm kidding, but he's one under, playing solid. Um, got the whole family here. Might go find Mary Chandler and uh, see what she thinks. But yeah, game is good. If he makes a couple putts, he's gonna shoot four or five under today, I feel. So, stay tuned. All right, let's see Wesley, low hook around these trees. I mean, the guy's punch out game has been solid today. And if you don't, it looks like you might have overhooked it. Oh, 
Oh, man, that's chipping range. You can see the ball. A lot of green. Um, it's all about misses it. You miss long here. It's not good. Hey, look who it is. Representing. Number two fan. Number two fan. No. You're definitely not number one. <laughs> I am the number one fan and the only one that matters. Hit something. But got an angle. He likes it. He likes it. How much did he like it? Wedgley. Remarkable. Although he has not been very wedgley ish around the greens. No, he's hanging in there at even par, though. Hadn't been the greatest ball striking round. Hadn't had the greatest short game round, but he's hey. getting it. shot on this hole. Water looming right and that's where you hit it Wesley? Let's go. Let's go. Pretty good. Good. Out of For you guys out there, that shot was incredible. Over massive trees with a long iron on the green. I would have hit it right into the trees. <laughs> I was hitting. Hit low hook into those trees. It might have gotten a good kick out, but. Rich Heller, hey. Hey, what's up? <laughs> All right, Wesley, there is one under through 14. I mean, the fact that he got it into putting range from where he was is amazing. Got a long putt eagle, but it's doable. On to the next, hold over 16. Let's go. <laughs> Shot, solid shot, Wesley. Nice work, nice work. Yes, yeah. And the mini crowd goes wild. Yeah. That's a wrap. And so here we go. 
hole number 17, three birdies in a row. The wind, as you can hear or may not hear, picking up probably 15 into the fan from about 175, probably 190 shot. Water left. See, not the easiest of shots. Grandstand over there. I mean, yeah, it's whipping people. You can hear it. Are you kidding? Alright, so Wesley's like 30 feet short, which you guys might think, okay, whatever. But wind blowing 20 in the, in the fan, in the face, hard hole, 300 par for the day, coming off three birdies in a row. You know what you don't want to do here, people? Hit one in the water, make a stupid double or bogey. Um, no, he could three putt this, I'm not saying that, but he took the big number out of play and just clutched up. It's a really, really good shot. Um, and guys, this has been fun to watch. If you get a chance, come out and watch PJ Tour golf, people. It's fun. LOL, all this walking up here only to watch Wesley. He ends up three punt from here. Not a good bogey, but 18th, scoreable. Let's see if we can finish strong. You kidding me? Three feet? Five feet for birdie on 18 to close her out? 200 par. Even if he two putts is 69, which is really good. Makes it 68 in the hunt after day one. Proud brother here. Yes! <laughs> the Wesley Bryan fan club. Yes! Filming? Yeah. How are you feeling? 68. Good. Got a little uh, energy right here. A little Diet Coke and Nature Valley Nutri Grand Bar. I mean, I'm gonna go pot for a little bit. I mean, the chip in was the legit. Well, okay. I said the chip in was gonna be the turning point, but what was the? There, I think that shot on 14, which was absolutely ridiculous, by the way. On 14, yeah. I mean, I will say it was a little bit further right than my target <laughs> was. To that pin location, if you almost make a hole in one. Dare I say you've hit a poor shot? Correct, Willie. Which one is start if you make a hole in one, if you almost make a hole in one on yeah. 14 to that pin. Yeah. Not advice. Um. There's no real turning point. I hit it great. Like I hit a you gonna first hole. Or? Yeah, I'm going to. Okay. Uh, got got stuck in a divot on number one. Mm. Or I would have been able to carve that thing around and potentially get it on the green. Hit a poor chip there. Made bogey. But other than that, I hit. Good drive on three, good second shot, good chip, led to a bogey. Tough stuff. That is true. Um, but I mean, I hit the ball great all day. Got real, no complaints, ball striking, hit great putts, even that little three jiggle on 17. Yeah, yeah, I hit a good first yeah. putt and a good second putt and it just didn't go in. So my bogeys, I feel like were just bad luck or bad execution or I don't know what they no, were. But, good. Um, overall, nice. good day. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers, off to practice. <laughs> it's been too long. Oh, hey. Hey. I knew I'd go back a little bit. See you, Russ. Bye. Might see you tomorrow, might not. Oh, yeah. Why oh, wouldn't yeah. you? Girls might have a baby any day now. Love you. Love you. People, that's a wrap from Harbor Town. One round. I mean, <laughs> first round in like over a year. Scoring average with me, that me in attendance, 68. Me too. I think. I think he plays better one around. But that was a lot of fun. Um, guys, if this, if this video was choppy, I'm sorry, but it was cool to give you guys an inside the look, um, inside the RBC heritage, to kind of see what a PJ Tour round looks like from my perspective, and to see Wesley show you guys some tournament footage um, here on the channel. I don't know, see you guys. All right, as a little update for if you did not follow along and you're still watching this video, he shot 68, 66, 75, 67 for a top, uh, top 25 place, T25 place finish. Super solid, guys. I mean, 
Top 25 on the PJ Tour is really good, nothing to shake a stick at. Um, I know he's a little upset with how that third round went because honestly, if he shoots even or a couple under, he finishes in the top five. So I know he's super disappointed, but guys, he's playing good, that was fun. Um, now moving forward for future PJ Tour videos, gonna be probably a lot different than what you saw, um, but I just wanted to give you kind of inside the ropes what I was seeing and how I'd watch a PJ Tour event. Um, but yeah, moving forward, gonna be a lot different, a lot more fun stuff in the pipeline. Uh, thank y'all for watching, see you guys.